Well, by a very lucky act of nature, if we want to call it that, I got a hold of a set of pre-production, pre-release DJI Googles. No, they're not Googles. But how many of you spell Googles, goggles, and goggles, Googles these days? I think we all do. But uh, anyway, this is the new most diff most sought after object in the universe, the DJI goggles. And when the price was announced, uh, I think most of us were expecting this was gonna be something in the $800 to $1,000 category, uh, given the, the types of systems we knew that DJI was gonna build in there. And here they came out with this, this uh, for I think 449 or 479. And it's available for pre-order. There's a actually a, a um, blog review we have on our site, DroneFlyers.com, where we're starting to fiddle with this. And as we do more and more, we will put more and more on that blog. We'll put videos on that. So if you want to know about this machine, you want to go to DroneFlyers.com. Uh, meanwhile, since we have the video camera active, we will show you a few things so you don't make some of the same stupid mistakes we make. Okay, some parts are pretty easy. So like this little doodad here adjusts the headband. It's heavy duty stainless steel uh, headband in there. So this thing is not, it's not a rubber band. It's not gonna fall off your head. Typical uh, DJI uh, over engineering, or should I say proper engineering, the goggles can fold out of the way. So, you know, they're on your head. Uh, you put them on your head. And of course they can flip up out of the way. Flip down. The Mavic Pro was the first machine to come out to be designed for these goggles. Now they also will work as it shows in our blog article with other models. So showed you basically some of the systems and where they're located. On this side you have a speaker and then you also have HDMI. I think that's HDMI in only and you have headphones and you have an SD card. The SD card records I think only what the goggles are seeing. So it's not for your true video or photo. Uh, I'm sure there'll be various uses and other things people think of to do with this. And I'm sure DJI will update the firmware also. But those are your basic controls. It's fairly lightweight, very comfortable, lots of padding. And that heavy duty adjustment, make sure it fits any head. I definitely have a very, very large head, and it fits me, so we're in good shape. Let's and see if we can get these at least linked up. We won't do any flying or anything like that, but we've got the Mavic, the headphones, and the controller. I don't even have to have a, a separate uh, pad or anything on here. You can just use the controller by itself, which is probably the preferred method of doing it because there's no need to look at the goggles and also look at something else. Unless you have a lot of adjustment to do. So we'll start. Turn the goggles on. Okay. Ah, standard sound we're used to hearing. Turn on the Mavic Pro. I have linked these already, so if we get lucky, hopefully everything will just sort of link itself back together again. If I set that up close, you can see you've got really a nice view clear uh, there's a number of different menus telemetry and things like that you select it's over on both sides there's some stuff on the other side there that we can't see and there the, according to DJI there is no uh, screenshot app so this is why I'm using the phone to take these pictures it's the right way to do it for now sooner or later I'll get something nicer hooked up, but anyway, you can see it's simple enough to link those babies up, and now you're just about ready to fly. Good luck. 